That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm so happy that you're able to join me today. So I've got an exciting project today. Let me tell you about it. So I've got a key piece of kiln dried uh, sepili, sepili, and I think it's how you say it. And it's about three inches square and it's 12 inches long, but I'm only gonna use about six inches of it. So what I'm gonna do is make a, a lidded box but the box is going to kind of be square. So I saw this in a recent article, the Wood Turning Magazine, and uh, I'll have a link to the Wood Turning Magazine down in the description, uh, but I thought that's a really cool box. So that's what we're gonna make today is um, that little box. So uh, stick with me, see how this turns out. Um, before we get started though, I got a couple of things in the mail. I've got a uh, sticker from Larry over at Gon um, Gonzalez Creations. Sent me a, a couple of stickers. I'll get them up on the wall. Um, Larry's got an Instagram um, uh, um, account however you want to say that. And I'll put a link to his Instagram, his social media down in the uh, description. Uh, and then I got a package from uh, Paul, who is a longtime um, subscriber of the channel. A beautiful um, box. And let's see, what did Paul say? Um, the box is, um, it's the bowl is made out of eucalyptus and the top is mahogany. And these are all woods that he collects from around um, his area. So it's really cool. Beautiful, beautiful box. So uh, really great work, Paul. Uh, Paul doesn't have any uh, social media or I would put a link uh, to his stuff down below. But Paul, thank you so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, lidded box. So anyway, so let's get this started on this. We're gonna start over the bandsaw, get it cut up and, um, and then we'll get turning.
Alrighty, so I got the top and the inside done. So now what I want to do is I just want to come and take it over to the disc sander and just put a gentle curve on it. Um, so it just tapers kind of down a little bit, um, just over the curve. So I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll go over there at the disc sander and take care of that.
Okay, so uh, as you probably saw, this is the bottom here um, of the lid. So what I want to do is before this gets too thin, I want to go ahead and just uh, sand this up and just go ahead and start to finish it up. And as I go up, I'll start to sand and finish um, because again, I don't want it to get too thin and, and break off on me. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to start sanding at 80, being very careful not to sand too much around here so that it's not too loose of a connection. And then we'll, uh, we'll apply our finish. Well, that was a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever turned a box like this. I'm curious if you guys have ever turned a square box. It, it should have been uh, tapered in a little bit more. I needed a little bit bigger piece of wood, but it's okay. I really like the way that the bottom came out and I'll put some pictures at the end so you can get a little bit better idea. Um, it, it just, it's, it's really, really nice. I, I, I enjoyed uh, doing this, this Sapele or Sapili is extremely nice. The grain, the Chateauians, and it's awesome. Had one little boo-boo. I'll put some details again at the end with the pictures, but it came off the lathe, hit the ground, and tripped off right there. Have it swept up. I'm gonna to try to find it. Me and my wife did try to look for it. Couldn't find it anywhere, but that's okay. So, uh, you know, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for sticking around. You know, if you do me a favor, it really helped the channel out. If you would like, comment, and share this um, to somebody that you think that might be interested in it. Um, so thank you again. Uh, if this is your first time and you'd like to see other content, click over here. If you'd like to become a subscriber, and I hope you do, click up here, click that bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you so much.